Ah, yeah. Um, this isn't going to be a long video, but it's important to make because oh, it's proper pissed me off, to be honest. Um, so the other day in my local newspaper, which is the Liverpool I have, um, there was a little tiny story about this um, paedophile taxi driver spared jail. So I took a screenshot of it and I forgot about it. And I was looking before, um, I've just done a video about the Taiwan train crash and then I've seen the, the, um, the screenshot. So I thought, I'm going to look at this story, see if there's anything more bit about it. And there was. So the story is, um, this 60-year-old man called Kevin Hughes. Um, I'm looking here because my laptop's here and I've wrote uh, some notes on it. Um, so yeah, this 60-year-old man is called Kevin Hughes. And he was caught sending sexual messages to what he thought was a 12-year-old little girl. Um, luckily, it weren't a 12-year-old little girl he was messaging. Um, it was a paedophile hunter group. Um, and it went to court a few days ago. And um, Kevin Hughes was spared an immediate sentence. Um despite his intent to perform sex acts on what he thought was a 12 year old little girl he told the girl that he'd give her a mcdonald's in exchange for these sex acts okay so the prosecutor at liverpool crown court sarah griffin said that there was 88 screenshots of messages from Hughes to this child. Um, Kevin Hughes is from Birkenhead, which is over the water from me. Um, and then, not only was he having this um, back and forth, to this little 12 year old girl he also had 62 indecent images of children on his phone he also admitted to attempting to engage in sexual communication with the child now this case Or these exchanges between Kevin Hughes and um, the paedophile group who he thought was a 12 year old child um, happened between February 3rd and May 27th of 2019 and it only went to court the other week um, and So this 60 year old man asked this child if she wants to talk about naughty things and he told her that he was naked in his bed. He also asked vile questions about what the child would do if a man went into a bedroom, later adding Lots of girls around your age touch willies. Oh, mate, I want to punch this lad's face in. <sighs> is defending or is defence team Quentin Neal said he's lost his home and since these offences he's been on the streets for the short period of time. He told the court he suffers from mental health difficulties. And Mr Neil added that there is a prospect of rehabilitation. Oh, mate. I don't care if he lost his home. He should lose his home. He should be in jail for 20 years. 
And the fact that since all this began, um, he suffered with mental health difficulties. So what? What about the mental health difficulties of the children in pornographic images? What about their mental health? What about the mental health of this so-called 12-year-old child who he is asking, do you want to talk about naughty things? You know, if a man went into the room, would you touch his willy? Loads of girls your age such willies. What about their mental health? Or the mental health of the next victim he's going to persecute and the days upon? The fact that he's saying, oh, he's got mental health, mate, don't even go there. Having a mental illness, and I, I know because I have got a mental illness, doesn't make you a paedophile. Being a paedophile makes you a paedophile. Got nothing to do with mental health. And the fact that that, that his defence went there, I'm glad I weren't in the court. I would have been arrested. And then the fact that he's saying, um, there is a prospect of rehabilitation. That's like saying, you know, oh, if you're gay, we'll send you to a gay camp and, you know, get rid of the gayness in you. He is attracted to children. He is sexually attracted to children. He is a paedophile. The latest research on paedophilia states that there is no treatment. It's a sexual preference. The only treatment is to lock up these bastards. But no, the criminal justice system doesn't do that, does it? A, because the laws are written by fucking paedophiles in Parliament, that's why. Why weren't this man locked up? The judge, Gary Woodall, he sentenced Hughes to 10 months, but it's a suspended sentence for two years. So, in two years' time, it'll probably do about four months, 16 weeks, 16, 20 weeks. If that. This man is dangerous. And I mean dangerous. Why don't we kick people out of prison? Over there because they haven't paid the TV licence. They haven't paid council tax. And they got caught growing a plant or smoking weed, or being a drug addict, or being an alcoholic. Why don't we empty the prisons of people like that and put real dangerous people in there, like fucking paedophile? The judge even ruled, the judge sided with his defence and said that there was a realistic prospect of rehabilitation. There isn't. The research shows that there isn't. He was ordered to complete 40 rehabilitation activity requirements, whatever the fuck that is, and 150 hours of unpaid work. Oh great, they'll probably make him volunteer in a school or something. He's got to sign the sex offenders register for 10 years and comply with a sexual harm prevention order for 7 years. So, on one hand they're saying... You are a sexual offender and you've got to sign on the register for 10 years. After 10 years, is he magically not a sex offender? And then he's got to comply with sexual harm prevention. So he is at risk of causing sexual harm. And yet, he's not in prison. And he is a taxi driver. I am fed up of the leniency of these sex offenders. I'm fed up of it. When you sexually abuse a child or you sexualise or exploit them in any way, you are killing their soul. They never get it back. Something's gone from them. Trust in humanity. 
joy, happiness, People like this need to be locked away for life. He will offend again. He will. Because if you if you're se- I'm sexually attracted to men. That's just how I'm wired. But the fact that a judge and a defence lawyer is saying there's a prospect of rehabilitation. On what planet? Because it's not on earth. I just needed to make this video because it's pissed me off so much. Um, just stay safe out there. It's a fucking crazy world. Um... Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.